Hey YouTube, just wanted to share my RC ramp jump design for you. Uh, I've taken a lot of cues from all the great designs here on YouTube and uh, I, when I was ready to create my own, I thought it out and um, this is going to be the best design for me. Uh, mainly I plan to use this jumping from asphalt onto grass rather than being a dirt jump type of a thing. You may find it a little disjointed, but hopefully all the information you need is within the various clips here. Thanks and uh, enjoy. Just some quick specs for you when in fully extended mode. What kind of degree you're talking about here. And this is a fully extended. You're at 19.7 degrees. 20.1, 20 22, 28, 27.6, 29.5, and at the max, 32.1. A view of the front here with what I've done right here is just a net so I can store my hand tool casters on the front wheels and then I have adjustable supports on the left and the right side uh, the reason I went with this design is that I wanted to be able to create a higher jump and not make two jumps and at the same time if I have unlevel ground I can adjust left to right on these to level my ramp across the front. And the casters, when these are in the fully retracted position, the casters hit the ground, so this is kind of easy to tow, tow it around. And then I have ropes with little loops on them connected underneath on both sides. So one person can easily move this even though it's, it's quite heavy. All right, just for the adjustment here, I have it, I have it on a jack stand just so I can do this one-handed and kind of show you the operation. So if I'm around, I can just use my impact wrench. And just hold right up into the bottom. And then the reason for this net is to hold this tool. So wherever I go, you can just crank it as well by hand so if somebody doesn't have a power tool or whatever of course not everybody's carrying an impact wrench and a three-quarter socket so that's what that's for in the lower position just wanted to give you the degrees here at max height 20.6 17.5 15.8 14.7 10.7 9.0 All right, just a quick hit to try to demonstrate the approach angle on this. It's down there. Uh, one of the reasons for my design is a lot of the great uh, ramps you see on YouTube, as soon as it hits right here, especially when they're doing their slow motion videos, you can see that their car is jacking right there because it's getting too much of an angle right here. So what I wanted is a really nice onto the ramp transition and then my angle increases up top. Dimensions here, the length is six and a half foot, six and a half feet. The width is four foot wide. The maximum height when the extenders are jacked up is 32 and a half inches. In its current position, it's 18 inches high at the top. I use three quarter inch plywood for the sides. I use half inch plywood for the top, one single piece. And that was actually very easy to do. Uh, I see a lot of people double layering and triple layering to avoid cracking as their uh, RC hits. And if you'll just take a piece of nice thick plywood, wet it down and lean it up against the building, you'll see you'll get, you'll get all the curve you want. Uh, I have a treated wood on the base material down low. Uh, even though there's only one place, if you can see that right there, there's only one place that it touch, actually touches the ground. And that's down at the very bottom and that is treated wood also. 
So I have, at this point right here, there's no point of this that's unsupported. But anything that will touch the ground is three quarter, is uh, treated by with. And then I use 1.3, uh, one by three for cross supports every six inches. That's way overkill using the half inch plywood. Totally unnecessary, but that's what I went with. So this is almost finished. I've got all the testing I want out of it. Now I'm just going to um, fill on my screw holes, sand down some rough edges there, and uh, it'll be ready to run. Uh, I wanted to test this a little bit with uh, the neighbors because if I leave this outside, they might ride their bikes or whatever on it and I want it to be nice and safe and sturdy. And uh, I'm 240. There's no bowing, there's no nothing. It's just solid as a rock. Just to give you a quick sense of the uh, proportions of this, this is a Outcast EXB, and then I have the one-fifth scale felony on there. And um, this is, not that I'm gonna jump this, but uh, this is another design factor I was looking at on my approach angle. Uh, you're not going to get much better than getting a felony up on there. Uh, you see a lot of the videos where people are snagging their front bumper. And uh, I would have no problem launching the felony off of this if I was, a, if I was that type of person. <laughs> I, don't, I have no plans to, so don't ask. And just a final parting shot. Here it is uh, standing up. It'll stand up on its own quite nicely. But uh, if you want to kick these legs out at the bottom, that out to here, they'll come out to here and even give it even more support if you wanted to go with that. But there's just a look on the uh, underside there, one piece plywood and supports approximately about six inches or so. And then the ropes are attached through the bottom there. Just to let one or two people drag it across the yard on its casters. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I got a lot of ideas from your ramps, and I want to make my own and take some of those ideas with me. That's it. Happy bashing.